Okay, how are we doing out there today? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection, technology gain, times five, seven, and eight. All right, so I've been getting this question a lot from a lot of people. Can I paint a motorized projection screen? Yes, you can. With our technology, it's very easy to do. So keep in mind, the way our technology is designed, it's designed to actually integrate itself into the material instead of leaving a layer on top and that's something you don't want because when you're rolling up the screen there's only enough room for the screen itself so over here I got a screen I purchased off eBay for around $58 plus taxes 18 we are going to turn this into a professional screen and it's going to have the ability to be able to produce images outdoors. Yes, because I'm going to be taking the screen out in the back where the garage is at. I'm going to hang it up for some demonstrations tomorrow and we're going to watch the movies off that uh, later on in the evening uh, tomorrow. Now, the reason the thing I like about the screen, it basically easy, just allows me to just hook it up. I got it hooked so I can actually remove it anytime I want to. It makes it easy and portable. This is a 92 inch uh, 169 wide screen. The last screen I had, it was actually literally, it was actually screwed to the wall, but this one makes it a lot more portable for me to take it from A to B. So we're going to be taking this outside too because our screen paint allows you to be able to use the screen outside and inside. So we're going to be using the Supreme 7 on this demonstration. I may get a little paint on the wall, but I'm not worried about that because that's why I have the white paint always available to uh, do the demonstration. So first things first. That's our special signature color for the Supreme 7. It keeps our paint from being mimic on false demonstrations. It has an odd color that cannot be, uh, well, some people can't figure out what it is, but it's an odd, odd color. It's not black, but it's interesting. It is black, but it's an interesting color. All right, so we'll take some of it right there, put some on the roller, and it had some people asking me what kind of roller to use. Any kind of nap roller doesn't make a difference at all. Sometimes I go to Dollar Tree and I buy rollers, so it doesn't have to be an expensive roller. Try to get this to come all the way around so I get enough of it on the brush. Sorry, on the roller, not brush. All right, so let's put some of this in right now. Okay, what we're going to do is I like to do my edges first, and the tape I'm using is frog tape. I support frog tape 100%. I'm not getting paid to say that. I really do like frog tape because it gives you that really laser cut edge. So I'm just gonna go right down the screen, and get the edges first, as I always do in any of my demonstrations. You will always watch me do the edges. All right, we'll put some more in there right there. And the projector I'm using in the demonstration is my uh, NEC projector of 3,700 lumens. Later on, we'll do this on 1100 lumens and so forth, as we always do. All right, so I'm just gonna go right down to my edges, which I like to do first. Now, doing a motorized projection screen or manual pull-down screen is very easy to do. It's not hard to do. And you always, when you put the tape on, you wanna make the tape like about one inch or less than a half an inch, it's up to you, away from the screen itself. All right, Just a little more on that right there. So we got our edges already done. So now we'll start coating in the rest of the edges right down the side of it. Now the difference, by our, our difference between our technology, it allows your screen to have more pop, more color, Contrast is very important. As I said that in a lot of my demonstrations, contrast is everything when it comes to a screen. Now this screen being $58, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna turn this into a professional looking screen. See that color starting to pop already? So let's start working on the center now that we got our corners done. Very easy to do. Now, as you can see, I'm not doing any form of robot formation. Very easy for me to paint the screen and be done. This is a $58 screen. Now, I like to use the, um, let me stand back here and show you what we got so far. So that's how beautiful the screen looks. See how beautiful the blues are? And this is with the screen wet. 
and that's the white part of the screen right there. If the screen was light gray, it would give off the exact same reaction. And you see, it doesn't take much to do it. So one coat process. Now we got our Ultra Sure Throw screen paint coming out very soon. It will be available on the 5th of this month. Um, sorry, I have not gotten to those, um, those inflatable screens. It has been a very busy, very busy, busy, busy. And I'm just telling people, if you want the screen, the best way to get them right now until we can get them onto the site is uh, PayPal pre-orders. It's the best way to get them. So let me show you already. I'm gonna back up here and show you what's left. See how beautiful that looks? That little white part of the screen, that's what the screen was. And this is what our technology does to it. Of course, you're gonna have a little glare there, as I always said, because you know, you're gonna have to, um, this paint's gonna be wet and it's being hit with a projector. So you're gonna have a little bit of a uh, glare coming off the screen. That's a given, that's gonna happen. So that's it, we're done. We'll walk in front of this real quick. You can see right there. Make sure I didn't miss any spots. Hold on for a minute. There we go, I missed a spot right there. There we go. That's why I prefer doing this with the projector off. But just to show you exactly the difference before and after. So, that's basically about it. So that's the Supreme 7 right there. We converted a screen that was $58 altogether, about $68. A motorized projection screen at 92 inches, $69. And the beautiful thing about this, I'm going to get contrast, beautiful colors, and the screen is just going to pop and explode. On top of that, I can take it outside and watch demonstrations or watch movies outside with no problem without the screen washing or fading because the screen is indoor and outdoor technology. All right, let's see if we can pull something up here. Something else. Now, before my time runs out here real quick, I am Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology gain. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm going to come back and probably uh, probably set up some uh, videos on here so we can go from there and watch, check out something else. Let me see if I can get something with, uh, with uh, let me see. Let's see if I can bring something up here before I run out of time on my camera here. There we go. I'm gonna bring that back a little bit. I think we got sound here, I'm not sure. Let me find the sound bar. My place is always a mess. There we go, I found the sound bar. Sound bar is on the floor upside down. Like I said, no time at all. This is why black screens are the best. Like I said, the technology. Now keep in mind, we do make an ultra short though screen paint, it's a dark gray. And the reason why it's dark gray is because we want to pull contrast from the screen. Contrast is very important. Now when I say black screens are the best, yes. When you want true contrast, you will get it from a black screen. The ultra short throw screen paint is very, very dark. Let me show you. That's the ultra short throw screen paint. That's actually dark gray. It looks black. The way that technology was designed to give you the best from your ultra short throw and true contrast. Not true contrast, but contrast is going to be pretty darn good. Look at all the light we have in the environment. And that's my projector sitting back at 12 feet, 4 inches from the screen. Like I said, $58, altogether 68 bucks for projection screen. Now, keep in mind, I favor tension screens because tension screens don't get that wave in the screen. 
Just want to put that out there really quick. Probably going to be grabbing another tension screen probably around um, next month. How much light hits the screen. And this is how amazing a Supreme 7 is. Turn anything you want into a professional screen. And yes, I will be doing a demonstration rolling the screen up and rolling the screen down also. Not only will we be doing this demonstration inside, it will be done outside also. technology. Now see you don't see the shine too much in that area, it's green's drying already that fast. Mine, this is all my, using my projectors, my NEC NP 1150 at the bottom. I don't know if I have it over here. No, I got my Sony projector. So next we'll do my Sony projector at 1100 lumens. And then we'll take it outside tomorrow and we'll have some fun with it. My neighbor's going to freak out when I see a motorized screen outside. Like, what in the world? Look at the color. And still we have an Epson 80, 480 project, uh, ultra short throw projector coming in to do the demonstration on the new ultra short throw screen paint. And we got that amazing, amazing outdoor blackout, not blackout cloth, but projection screen. Keep in mind, you can take those screens outside that look incredible and they produce 100% contrast. How beautiful it looks. Absolutely amazing. So fast it took me to paint that screen in. Still a little shiny, so it's still screen, it's still wet. But it's getting there. Alright, again, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. This is how you paint a screen using our Supreme 7 Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint. 
easy way to convert an everyday cheap white projection screen into an amazing looking screen. And keep in mind, you got screens up there, like I said, not to bring the companies down, but you got companies out there that'll charge you a very cheap price for, well, not a very cheap price, four or five hundred bucks for a white screen. But when you start getting into those dark gray and black screens, well actually I think Ronnie was with a black screen, you start getting into those dark gray screens, then you're talking about a good three and four thousand dollars easily. Now it would take one quart to paint this screen with no problem. And you can take it outside when you're done. Absolutely beautiful. All right, gotta go. I know I keep saying that, but I can't just move the camera away. It looks, it, from this end, oh man, it is absolutely gorgeous. Camera does it no justice. Like I said, look at the angle gain and look how much light is in the environment. There's no screen laying against the windows, none of that. Well, we don't have any windows down here. Look at the white levels. Beautiful. Thank you for your time. God bless.